discuss money and today I'm here with Harshini. She is pursuing data science from University of TU Dartmouth and she recently got her uh, admission in uh, 2020 summer winter intake. So why am I here is because I feel that she will be the right person who can guide you about TU Dartmouth data science course plus how the online education is happening over there. Third, the quality of education she can discuss about. Fourth, she can tell about what all challenges she is facing at the moment or what the students should know before applying to the universities or before studying for this particular course. So this video will be all about these five points. And uh, yeah, thank you, Harshini. Can you please give your introduction? Uh, hi, everyone. This is Harshini Agoni. I'm from Bangalore. Uh, currently, I'm pursuing Master's in Data Science at TU Dortmund wow. University, Germany. And uh, uh, and I'm also not a working working person because I'm just past 2020. And uh, I completed my bachelor's uh, in computer science stream at Bangalore University. And uh, yeah, this is about my bio. <laughs> Thank you. So Harshini, you know, we receive a lot of uh, inquiries about the students who do not have the work experience, but they still wanted to go for the data science. So can you please share your marks that how much you scored in your bachelor's? Uh, yes, I got the 8.3 CGPA and I had, um, I successfully completed three internships uh, one is from abroad and two are in uh, India. It is not that mandatory you should do in abroad, but I got the opportunity that I went. You, without experience, you can apply. It's not a big deal. Main thing is like uh, be with your IELTS score and uh, at least minimum like uh, average above average CGPA and uh, LOS from the best professors and SOP is very required. Very important. Very true. Very true. Very important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very important. Yeah. Yes. If, if your IL score is like six, that is also fine. But the major thing is like your LOR, SOP, these plays a crucial role. Yes, these plays a crucial role. Plus, when we were processing your application, even your internship played a very important role. Yes, because intern for the bachelors, I always ask the students to do the internship because that's very important. And this give a weightage of the credits when you get the credits to apply to the university. This is really, really important. So, and, mm -hmm. and moreover, ma'am, actually, uh, uh, the people who think that like they have the data science background, then only they can apply in the universities. But it's not like that. Like TU Dortmund is like uh, um, offers all kind of branches. But after offering them in the first semester, they provide some prerequisites which are mandatory to take the course. That time we can cover all the prerequisites of the course and we can start uh, a fresh. We can give a fresh start to the course. So yes. this is what advantage what I found in TU Dortmund. Yes, yes, very true, very true. Okay, so uh, can you please describe about the curriculum, how they have defined about the online classes, and then mm -hmm. we'll discuss about the subjects which they're offering in data science, the University yeah. of TU Dortmund. Yes, actually, due to this pandemic, uh, the semester has become the hybrid semester. It means like uh, it is uh, uh, online and plus offline. Up to, up to getting our visa, uh, we can continue our classes in online. After uh, having our visa, then we can go to the Germany or uh, give the physical presence exams. Okay. And, okay. and uh, when it comes to career, uh, how they are managing means, yes, they're, they're managing very pretty well because uh, I recent, I also almost is being like one and a half month. Uh, in, in this period, what I was noticed more means uh, they use the Zoom application for the classes. And uh, there are a lot of applications also they're using, they are creating some of the Google classrooms and especially they have the separate Moodle portal, hmm. uh, which hmm. means uh, they can upload the recorded uh, classes, hmm. Uh, hmm. record the classes and there is a notes and if you have any questions, they're also created some of the groups over there, like uh, we can easily chat with the friends, like what is what the class, when it was, yeah. uh, interaction will be there hmm. and uh, they also created the first specified uni mail accounts uh, mm -hmm. which is uh, uh, which is easy to access in your in our mobile phones also mm -hmm. and uh, yeah these are the things now is, is going on present yes and i think these are the few things which most of the university have done when mm -hmm. i was interacting with other students even this was the same with them even yes. Uh, yes yes this is common for most of the universities but how is the behavior of the professors because this is a very 
uh, different situation because of the time zone. And uh, as we were discussing before, you told me there are the students from Vietnam, from various parts of the world. So they must be mm. facing a lot of problems because of the time zone. So how yes, yes. are the faculties and the students managing? So because of this only faculty is recording the sessions, like uh, when you're uh, after this, when our free time and we can watch the videos and we can uh, uh, raise a questions uh, in via mail or they have the one of the in Moodle, we can message them easily. They are really like it max, they will take like uh, two to three hours or four hours sometimes and one day also, but they'll give the reply. Okay, okay. So, so they're really responsive. Yeah, responsive. Okay, okay, fair enough. And what exactly you think the students uh, should know before starting their studies in TU Dortmund for data science? Uh, yes, like uh, they should have to go to the curriculum like clearly, cleanly they should have to see because it is a mix up of the three three uh, departments. One is statistic and one is computer science and uh, uh, statistics, computer science and one more is uh, yeah, that's okay. So mathematics. I think, Sorry, yes, mathematics. mathematics. Even this was same uh, for LMU also. So I think these three modules are majorly same for most of the universities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And moreover, TU Dortmund University like proposed uh, uh, more statistics than remaining but two. So this is like the people who are interested in more statistics. Uh, then really they can ready to apply for the Dortmund. And thing is like, it is a technical university, uh, means we know the standards of technical university, right? So, like it is really tough. Uh, I heard some of the seniors, like they, are, they don't, uh, they don't, they're not, they're not supposed to take the course as a granted. This is the main reason. If they took the granted, then, then it definitely is gonna become a bit tough. Yes, yes, very true. And I wanted to know is, um, uh, apart from this, you how many students are there from India and from which part of the world you can see the students in your class? Uh, what I find in this, like uh, this, I mean, when it comes to my semester, it is like a non-restricted course. So I find a lot of Indians only, uh, but also I find like uh, East Asian people also more, like Asian people I find more like Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Vietnam, South Korea, and there are a lot, a lot of people from the Europe and there are also UK people also I found. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, yes, even I realized when I was studying there in Germany, the people started coming from UK, from Singapore yeah. because yeah. of the quality of education before they never yes. used to come. And it's so expensive over there. They really feel that coming to Germany and studying is a good idea. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay, so apart from this, um, uh, Harshini, can you please tell me that uh, when you applied for the University of TU Dortmund, uh, what all challenges you faced? I applied at the end of the May, I think. Yes, I guess end of the May, uh, because due to lack of applications, they took they took a lot of time to give the reply. Uh, we because even they are also suffering with this pandemic. They have lockdowns, though they have all these things, then uh, they replied patiently for everyone, and I got the reply at the. And uh, mid of the October, I think, yes, I guess, mid of the October. And uh, yeah, it went like that. It, uh, maximum, max, they took two to three months to get to get the reply. Okay. And uh, Harshini, um, when uh, you apply for TU Dortmund, so can I just share your offer letter when I can, where I can delete your personal details so that they can have an idea how the offer letter looks like, the German offer letter? Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, sure. That won't be a problem? No, it won't be a problem. Okay. And uh, uh, Harshini, right now, are you working somewhere along with the studies or you are giving your full time to the studies? Uh -huh. No, ma'am. I'm just uh, concentrating on my studies because the first semester is kind of like a heavy syllabus. Uh, prerequisites I should have to complete. So focusing on the whole thing, that too in online, the concentration have to keep more when compared with like... Uh, in Germany, if you are studying in Germany, like we have friends and we have doubts, that, that is easy way to share with everything. And uh, though it's online, so we should have to concentrate to this, see the screen every time, note the points. So it will be take, time taken. So I it's thought- It's a time taking procedure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, very true, very true. I agree about it. And mm -hmm. uh, Harshini, apart from this, can you please tell me, um, how I mean that's that I really wanted to take at the end that how our care helped you out. So would you like to give a review or something? 
Yeah, definitely. Because uh, uh, I actually uh, once once in a time I thought that I may not go into the winter semester because I don't have more thoughts. Uh, I, I literally, I'm in the down situation. Like, let it be. I'll try for the summer semester. Previously, I had a plan to go to Canada. Actually, uh, due to some reasons, I was postponed it, and uh, I thought. March one was the intake will start right. The time we the pandemic is started at Feb, I think, uh, and I don't have the proper documents with me, uh, and I don't have a PDC also even. So I thought it won't be a workout. I thought, and suddenly I think at the end of the May with your YouTube only I get to know about our care, and uh, I messaged you, and uh, within like uh, one day I got the reply, and everything was started. And I get to know about the yes, it is possible. I heard from the central sir, and I trusted. And finally, right now I'm here with my um, enrollment, cert, enrollment letter and I'm starting the course. I mean, it did not get delayed. I mean, if it, did, if it is delayed means it will be like uh, somewhere I feel like guiltiness of myself. I literally waste the six months. Hmm. And, and now I'm, I don't have any guilt of that. I just came hmm. out of this all now. And just recently hmm. I've started <laughs> fresh masters. Like it kind of new, new thing. Yes, yes. And when are you planning to fly to Germany? Because I have no idea. And Mr. Sharma is taking your file, so I don't know. Uh, actually, I'm planning on Jan 21st. Uh, I got today. I got the message like my visa passport is dispatched. Wow. Okay, <laughs> I didn't do that. To be very honest, so that was not scripted, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah so, okay. uh, so Jan 21, I think I'm planning. Okay, okay, great, great. So, um, Harshini, would you like to share something important which I have uh, not discussed in this video for the viewers so that they should know about Germany or about TU Dortmund or about your particular course? Uh, actually, yes, there are some few points like that. Um, uh, normally, we know that there are three types of uh, universities in Germany. One TUs and one is universities and one is Hochschule, which is applied sciences. Yes, there will be a slight difference between the course and all this criteria. But when we choose the TUs, uh, a lot of people think that they may not complete the course uh, within the within the deadlines, within their deadlines. Uh, but if we are concentrated well, we like if you are like um, uh, contact with the professor and getting information from them, then we can make it what I thought. Uh, so please don't feel like when you get admission from TU is like oh my god can I can I make it or not if you are you can make it and moreover when it comes to data science uh, like uh, some of the colleges also offered the com combination of both web and data science machine learning and data science but the person who are very interested about the pure data science then TU Dortmund is like apt for them then who are like very interested on mathematics and statistics more than CSE then then definitely I would prefer to apply for TU Dortmund. Okay, okay, fair enough. And uh, Harshini, that's it for the day. Thank you so much for your honest review and uh, about the information. I feel that it might be helpful for the students who really want to go to Germany and especially for the data science because we receive ample of applications from electronics, communication, and, and sometimes they really wanted to enter into data science, but it is actually there are my friends my friends my friends are from ECE like me, some of the people who are applying from mechanical department also but but they should have some credit points this is what Credits, yes this is mandatory at least mathematics they should exactly. have to study mathematics plus you would have done some internships or something internships, which yeah. shows that you know some subjects related to data science yes, so this is information for all the viewers that if you really wanted to go for the data science you should have certain certifications which yeah. you can do along with your bachelor's, certain credit points, not too many, but if you have certain credit points, let me say like, if you have four or five things which you have done apart from your studies, so you yes. might get data science, that's not a problem, but just jumping into data science without any <laughs> yeah. experience, without any internships, without any certifications, that, it's that not would be possible. Like, oh my God. Oh. And please remember that Harshni scored above 80%. Yeah. You score above 60 percent, you're in the middle of 60 to 75, uh, 68 to 75 percent, and then you are aiming for data science, it's really difficult. So you have to understand the profile, 
the efforts and then jumping into it is a good idea just don't close your eyes and say i'll get a data science i wanted to go to data science that's it so going to data science from a computer background or from a mechanical background means you have to put up the certain extra efforts then only it is possible and it is good for all the students who are planning from the first year of their engineering second or third or maybe after some time also just create a road map and then apply just don't jump into it and uh, yeah that's it